Hey you guys, we're back with another DIY and this is going to be a mini wood beaded garden. Now we're going to go ahead and use this kind of paint. We're using white paint. I already put the beads on a paintbrush, so I am ready to get started. Now I'm going to go ahead and do white and pink, a light pink. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the white and I'm going to apply a coat of paint and it's going to be super easy to do this project. It is super fun. And just make sure you get the top and the bottom as well as the sides. Make sure you give it two coats of paint and let it dry in between paint. We want it to dry. That way, once you're ready to put it together, it's super easy and super fast to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below anything you have. And I'm going to go ahead and paint those white and let them dry. Make sure you... Um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll link the link down below and this is my favorite paint It's just a white chalk paint that I used and I'm gonna go ahead and use this light pink paint And it is one of my favorite pink paints that I always grab I brought it at Walmart and I love this color So this is gonna be perfect for you can use this for a, a Valentine's garland you can use this for a summer garland, a spring garland, Mother's Day garland. You can use this for an Easter garland. Anything you want because the colors are perfect. They're a pastel pink and a white. So make sure you paint these pink. Make sure you um, paint the top and the bottom. Let them dry and give it two coats. It's super easy. And then we'll be ready to start our garland. So I love this color. It's super easy. It's a beautiful pink and it's ready for summer and spring. So this garland is optional. You can use it in so many ways once you make it. And you can use it for so many holidays once you make it. And it's going to give your display a beautiful look. Trust me once it's done. And there you go. We're going to let the pink dry. And I painted them really quick just to move a step ahead. I'm going to go ahead and show you the paint. And then I'm going to put it away. It's just a pink, light pink paint. It's just like a blush pink. And it's perfect for all these garlands. Go ahead and grab yourself some string. I'll be using a burlap string, which I'm going to go ahead and make a hoop on it. Make sure your hot glue gun is running. We're going to need it right now. Make sure your loop is um, long enough and always big enough. So you can go ahead and tie it twice if you want. I'm going to go ahead and seal this shut with the hot glue. It's very easy. Pinch it together and it dries super fast. Once you have it sealed, all you're going to do is tie a knot so the beads won't move. Tie a knot or tie two knots, whatever you want. One knot is perfect, especially for this size of beads. It is a smaller size. These are not the big ones. These are the smaller beads. I decided to use those because I thought that would be perfect for my display. And the beads wouldn't overthrow the display since I love it so much. It's just a Ray Dunn um, birdhouse that says home. Now let's go ahead and cut this. I already have it pre-measured. So I'm just going to cut it the same amount before I start putting in my beads. Make sure your beads are nice and dry before you do anything. Let's go ahead and make a tassel for this. Now I'm going to go around my fingers 25 to 30 times. It's optional if you want it on the medium size to 25. If you want it really nice and thick and chunky, do it 30 times. You can do it as many times as you want, but those are my go-to numbers. Then we cut off the string and we're going to go ahead and use some ribbon. I thought it would be nice to use a couple of just pink ribbon, just something light and thin this time. So I'm going to use this nice, beautiful pastel pink ribbon it's really thin and it's light and it's gorgeous it's like a bubble gum and i'm gonna go around my fingers a couple of times with the ribbon before i cut it just so it gets that beautiful nice and color pink on there and it displays when i put it together so go around as much as you can and then cut it when you're ready to assemble it go ahead and grab some burlap i cut a little string on there and then let's go and close this up now, all you're going to do is remove it from your fingers. It's super easy. Grab your string. You're going to pinch the top of it once you remove it from your fingers. And you're going to go ahead and tie a knot as tight as you can. And you're going to do two to three knots. So that's how easy this is. Go ahead and 
just look at my fingers and look at how I'm going to go ahead and adjust it while I have it here. Grab your burlap, tie a knot, and you should tie the knot as tight as you can. Trust me, you need to tie it as tight as you can so the results are good. Once you tie it as tight as you can, go ahead and do another knot and grab your hot glue gun and we're going to set that not right there by adding a little bit of hot glue on there just so it sets and it doesn't move that's one of my favorite tips i can give you add a little bit of the hot glue trust me it's not going to mess up anything it's just going to hold it down let it dry and then you're ready to cut the access rope and see once it's dry just go ahead and cut that string off make sure you don't cut it too close you don't want the knot to undo just cut anything around it and you should be ready. Go ahead and grab your string and we're just going to go ahead and put on our beads. Our beads should be nice and dry. I love the fact that I put it on the back of some paintbrushes. That's a great tip so you won't get your hands dirty. Just put the beads in the back of your thinnest paintbrushes and it holds the beads perfect. So that's one of my tips that I'm sharing with you that I discovered through making all these little garlands. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of tape on here. And I'm going to show you how I slide it through. And it should be super easy for anybody to do this step. Since it was kind of hard for you guys just to slide the, the um, string. This is a great step that I'm showing you how to slide it in. But first is add these beautiful baby beads and they are gorgeous. They're just on the smaller side, but I love them. It looks like I painted them like bubble gum. So let's get started. I'm going to do the opposite color. I'm going to start with a pink and then do a white, pink, white, and I want to end it with a pink. Just because I want to show more of the bubble gum color, I thought that would be very pretty, especially when I'm done with this little mini garland. I thought it would be really nice just to show the pink more since I did add the pink and the tassel. So go ahead and take your time, just slide it through, and you should be ready in no time. So just slide them, take your time, do the opposite color, and then you should end up with your pink. So I did four of the pink and three of the white. Now I'm going to go ahead and slide it in there, and I'm going to use the same tip that I showed you. Just to make it easier and you can just add it to the back of a paintbrush, add a little bit of the clear tape and just slide it in there. Once you have it in there, take off the tape and slide out the paintbrush. That's how easy it is. Go ahead and grab it. We're going to go ahead and make a knot and this knot has to be as tight as you can. Do the same thing. Always make your knots super tight. You don't want nothing moving. Make sure your hot glue gun is running because we are going to glue this together. Go ahead and make your knot tight, tight, tight. Pull it, pull it. And once you have it just how you like it, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of the hot glue just to seal it shut. I don't want nothing moving and I don't want nothing coming out once this um, little garland is ready. And look at how gorgeous it is. All you need is a little dot of the glue, nothing more. It'll get really messy really fast. Go ahead and bring the string all the way around and you're going to bring it four to five times depending on how thick you want it and make sure every time you bring it around that it touches the hot glue. You're going to seal it shut like that. That way nothing moves ever again. Go ahead and cut it. Make sure that the last piece that you cut touches the hot glue just so it seals shut and there you go. You are ready. You have a mini garland that is adorable. I'm going to add another glue, little piece of glue right there just to see the shot because it didn't reach and just pinch it in. It's that simple to make. These are so gorgeous. They're going to change any display you put them on. It's going to give it that extra beautiful, beautiful um, decor on there. And the people, when they go to your house, they're going to love it. And they're going to ask, where did you buy it? And you're going to say you made it with things you already had at home. Because all the supplies, I already had it at home. I didn't buy anything. Now, I'm going to grab the scissors. And all we're going to do is cut through the ribbon and the burlap. Super easy. And I'll look at how 
gorgeous they came out. This is one of my favorite little mini garlands. I love it. It is so gorgeous. Look at that bubblegum look. And we're going to go ahead and add it to our display right here. And see how it comes out and how it hangs. Look at how gorgeous that is. I'm so happy I got this little thin ribbon. I already had it. And it came out perfect for this little project. So always go around your house and look for things you already have before you start any project. And just go ahead and use them. I hope you guys make one. And if you do, let me know and comment down below. I would love to see it. And look at how gorgeous it came out. It's beautiful. And until next time, bye you guys.